folks and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Scorpio for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Wherever you have the Scorpionic placement in your chart, you can apply this to. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, you can ask whatever question you want for your reading. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. Like this video please and check me out on Patreon. I post my personal spells on there, collective spreads on there, sometimes I answer free questions for the tarot on there, all sorts of stuff on there. So let's see what's up with Scorpio. What do you guys got going on? Okay, we have Remembrance, we have Divine Feminine, Communication, oh, okay, Integration, I just heard it's all coming together, okay, that's good. Any other messages for Scorpio? And we have Empowerment, all right, let's start here with Remembrance. The frequency of remembrance supports our ability, or I'm sorry, the frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through in the soul as a body, providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. So tapping into this energy, I feel this energy of you guys remembering who it is that you are, what it is that you've been through communication. You've been through something before that can help you with what you're dealing with now, I'm getting as well. Divine Feminine. The frequency of the Divine Feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, and soft side, allowing it to openly express itself and helping us connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all creation. So you guys are tapping into your nurturing, your feminine, your soft side. You're being receptive to what's happening around you. You're very much so in your Divine Feminine bag during this time. Communication. The frequency of communication supports our ability to exchange information in many different forms. It, it reminds us to run every piece of information, both incoming and outgoing, through our heart, the center of our truth, and to stay in flow of source, source and balanced energy. So you guys are being asked to communicate, not only with other people, but with your head and your heart. And to remember what you've been through and use that to get th get you through what you're going through now. So if something is happening right now, Scorpio, you know, maybe someone, something that they've done, it reminds you of something that you've already been through. Take that into account. Or if you're experiencing something now and it's like, I've been through something like this that can help me with this. Use that information from the past to help you in your future. We have integration. So to be honest, what you're going through right now, it may be a little bit of a test. We'll see. The frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and negative to harmonize. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, so we have empowerment. The frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely, uniting us with others in the deep trust that we're all connected through the same source. So you're honestly being called to tap into the collective power, tap into your own power as well. I feel like you've given up a bit of your power and it's time to either remember what you've learned through the past that will easily help you through and guide you through this connection, this situation, or to remember what you have been through that could help you through how to handle the situation now, what you should do next. <clears throat> See what else we get. I just heard this is not your mirror. Okay. Um, I feel like there's someone right now, Scorpio, who... Okay, we got a couple cards that flipped. There's someone now, Scorpio, that you're dealing with who it's like they don't embody the current version of yourself. They remind you of someone that you've already 
dealt with um, or they take you back to a place that you've already been because this is someone you've already like you've already conquered this lesson or this person they remind you of someone you've already you know dealt with I don't know I just get this energy of the past kind of creeping up again um, don't be surprised if someone from the past literally comes back either embrace yeah I just get an energy of you guys wanting to embrace this person or embrace this thing. It feels familiar. Hmm. I feel like a, a reopening of an old wound and someone is coming back to offer some sort of healing. Okay, let's see what we got. a bad thing it's just something you haven't manifested we have the magician in reverse the ten of wands in reverse and the ten of swords in reverse so someone is coming back from the past or something is coming back from the past an opportunity a memory it's not something that you were looking for either it's something that you just kind of stumbled across and I guess now you're being asked to process it to integrate it if you start to have memories of the past Scorpio especially memories that you don't want to have right now just know it's not something that you called into your life I don't feel honestly and truly I don't Scorpio feel like this is something that you asked for I don't feel like this is something that you've asked the universe to deliver to you I just feel something coming back hmm we have the Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles here. So I do see potential. I see progress. I see value in this thing that's coming back. Okay. Integration. Remembrance. Hmm. What is this? It's going to bother me. It's at the bottom of the deck. Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah. I don't feel like you asked for this. Devil in reverse, Queen of Cups here. I don't feel like it's a bad thing either. I feel like you're open to it. Like I said before, you just kind of want to indulge in it. It feels nice. Four of Pentacles in reverse and six of coins, six of Pentacles. I feel like that's definitely a surrender here. A surrender to the energy. Someone is using their free will to come back to you. It could be a job. It could be a person. It could be a memory. Something is coming back to you, and it's not because you requested it. You didn't send for this, but something is coming back. <clears throat> hmm. And I feel like you guys are trying to make amends with this thing. You're trying to fix the situation, trying to change the narrative. It's a new start. It's a new opportunity. We have the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. It's going to be on your terms now. <laughs> or at least equal terms, collaborative energy. Actually, we have the three of uh, pentacles, which is a collaborative energy working together. Hmm. So something or someone is coming back from the past and it's like a well-oiled machine. It's, it's easy integration. You feel empowered. Someone's ready. Something is ready for you. There was an opportunity that you had seeked at an earlier time and it just wasn't the right time. But now it's coming to you uncalled for so this is likely if this is someone like a romantic partner you'd forgotten about this person or you've given up you had like you know said okay you know what it's just not gonna work or it's just not in my path fine you'd let it go and now it's coming back and you have this remembrance it's reigniting this feeling within you it's reigniting your divine feminine your divine feminine is at attention it's woken up and you're like oh, an opportunity to nurture this is bringing out my soft side. I'm receptive to this energy. I like this communication. Huh. Okay. It's empowering. You're wanting to integrate. It wasn't the right time before. It wasn't, which is why the magician is in reverse. This is not something that you could have forced happen to happen. And I feel like you did at some point with the ten of swords in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse. You definitely tried to maybe force this to happen to lead this you you try to um you know make this work or make this happen at an earlier time but it wasn't the right time and now it's the right time so it's like what are you gonna do 
All right, let's see what else we got. All right, so we got the Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups. So it's a much better time now, and someone's fully grown. Let me just turn these upright so you can see. Look at the Six of Cups. You see how she's carelessly spilling all of her cups? You would have finessed yourself out of this opportunity. It wouldn't have worked at an earlier time. You weren't ready. You're ready. You're ready. This Fool card, you're ready to go all into. It's so exciting. <laughs> It's such an exciting thing for you. You guys are very happy and excited about this. And this would not be something that you wouldn't want to come back, okay? Because I know some of you guys are like, I just want new, new, new. This could be, you know, an old uh, job that you had applied for and it's coming back and the offer's better than ever, even better than what it would have been. Just be open, I guess I'll say. Be open to what happens now. Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the person, it really feels personified. It really feels like a person they were not ready before. They maybe were in a player energy, Seven of Wands in reverse. They didn't know what they wanted to do. They were in a bit of a sneaky energy, every man for himself type of energy or my way or the highway type of energy. Maybe they were selfish, you know. This is, this is the right time for integration. This is the right time for you guys to be together or for this thing to present itself to you. And you're ready as well. Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Wands. So I feel like this opportunity, yeah. It was baking. It wasn't ready. We got the Queen of Pentacles, like I said before. We got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So I definitely felt like you guys were ready to ascend, ready to make things happen with this person at some other point. But it really wasn't the right time, Scorpio. So now the opportunity is presenting itself and it's fully ready. And yeah. Let's see what's going on in love. There we go. We got new love. We got new love. So if this is someone um, you know, you know. <gasps> If this is, look at this, exactly, I'm getting your whole timeline. If this is someone you know, but you know, you didn't get to have something romantic with in the past, it's because they weren't ready, they weren't interested in it. It wasn't something that was, it wasn't the right time for them. They had to get in this new energy. And we have unrequited love that came out before. There's not enough attraction or chemistry here to keep this relationship going. It would not have worked before. But now we have attraction, true love, and new love. So it's like, this is a, an opportunity to start over. Even if you're already in a relationship, um, you try to address like a problem or there was something wrong or something that needed to be worked on at a, a time before now and it wasn't the right time to address that. You weren't going to be able to have progress at that time. There is attraction, new love, and true love. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So accept the opportunity. And I know for some of you, there may be a bad taste in your mouth. You may feel like someone's needing to explain themselves. Maybe they do, but I feel like they don't. Maybe they do. They weren't ready. That's the answer. I told you. So you don't need them to tell you. You already know. They weren't ready. So why force someone to explain why they weren't ready? They weren't ready, you know? Now, if there's something deeper <laughs> that happened between you guys, um, yeah, there's some communication that needs to happen. We had the communication card, but I would say hold off and allow yourself to just enjoy the moment fully of finally getting what you want for a little bit before you ruin it with the hard stuff, with the real stuff, you know? True love, this is the romance of a lifetime and new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. That is exciting, Scorpio. I'm happy for you guys. Like I said, it wasn't the right time before. Even if this is just completely new love. Yeah, we got the death card that came out first. That's your card in the uh, tarot deck. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So they had to, you know, they had to go through what they went through. They had to get out of that energy, get out of that phase that they were in before in order to get here. And now we're here and we have an opportunity to create, to move forward, to have something, to build a life um together and it's up to you if you want to take it or not of course but oh, we got success and happiness that just came out you have the ability scorpio to have something really good with this person happiness and success it's divine timing it, it really did have to happen this way 
because they weren't ready before and maybe you were. Um, success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love and happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So once you experience this happiness that's going to come from being with this person or having this opportunity, allow yourself to feel that and resonate with that and understand that you're so happy about it because it's a good thing. You know, don't assume that something's bad, something bad's going to happen, you know, or I, I feel super happy about this, but I, you know, Look at that. I, ch I just keep getting drawn back to the past for you guys. We have the Void of Course Moon and the Full Moon in Virgo. At the bottom of the Full Moon in Virgo, it says you are good enough. At the bottom of the Void of Course Moon, it says nothing will come from this situation. Like I said, I keep getting drawn back to the past. Like you're, you're feeling a little hurt. Maybe you're divine feminine, you're nurturing side, you're ready to nurture someone and they rejected your help or they rejected your love. So now you're feeling like they need to answer for that and they need to be held accountable for that. And, you know, I think it's important to let people know how you feel, but there's nothing, they haven't wronged you if they just weren't ready. If they didn't communicate that, that they were talking to other people, that's not something that deserve like you that needs an apology. They just weren't ready, you know. But I'm tapping into a group of Scorpios that feel hurt by the situation and they kind of want, you know, an apology from this person. And like I said, I feel like it's important to to communicate what you need, but it wasn't going to work. Nothing will come of this situation like I said is tapping into the past. It was never a matter of you being good enough or not but you may have felt like you were rejected by this person um but it, it wouldn't have worked at that time and that's just kind of what it is and then we have the full moon in cancer a personal issue reaches resolution so you're given an opportunity to restart but you can you know finesse yourself out of this opportunity if you take the wrong approach if you come in aggressive feeling like they owe you something if they don't um you're gonna know you're going to know if this person truly owes you an apology or not. Like I said, I'm not saying everybody's going through something and it's like, forget it, you know. But um, allow yourself to just fully accept this and experience this, you know. Don't finesse yourself out of it just because it didn't happen sooner. But that's your message, Scorpio. You're getting what you want or what you wanted. Um, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your reading. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on Patreon as well in the description below. I post my personal spells on there, collective spreads, and live streams on there. And I love you, Scorpio. Be careful what you wish for, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>